So, Abhishek. Hello everybody. Again, uh, thanks for coming back and watching us. Uh, today we are going to do a new dish and Namrata will be speaking about that. Uh, it's based on this really cool movie called Ratatouille, right? Exactly. So this dish is a uh, dish from France. Uh, France Provence, from the Provence region. So we use all the different provincial vegetables which we have. Like we have some nice eggplant, some peppers, some zucchini and yellow squash. And we are going to cook it uh, into a, something called a ratatouille. And I will show you how to do it. Right. And it's great that you are mixing all these really colourful veggies because they say that in order to have a complete meal and a really healthy one, it should be as colourful and absolutely, as absolutely. close to raw as possible. Exactly. Really all the, the different colours of the different and the right. different stuff inside which is right. very very good for us right. and uh, through this as we spoke before through this show and through this channel we want to promote we want again for people to go back to the market and buy their vegetables and uh, feel them understand them and cook them and really uh, not go for the ready to ready made foods which is available which is not healthy nowadays the food which we have is not nutritionally complete we need to have a nutritionally complete diet and that's for that we need to include a lot of vegetables there is no pill which can add all the vitamins and minerals to your diet. It's all these vegetables and you have to eat it. Now, as a chef, my job is to make them as pleasant an experience it can be. And, uh, but it starts with you. So, eat healthy, think healthy. And today we are going to show you a very healthy dish called Radhatu. And I think what I really love about all your uh, recipes so far is just watching you engage with your food. Which is a very, very playful and loving journey that you have with the food itself and a lot of people unfortunately have a very scary fear based exactly. relationship with food they either go for the wrong choices or they end up eating the wrong things and even when they're eating the right thing they're paranoid about whether it's organic or society so there's so much um, fear going into everything you're eating so it's great fun watching you thank um, you to really show us how to play with our food and, and have a good relationship with food so thank you thank so you. much thank you so now we start with the ratatouille this dish is only vegetables it's a uh, harmony of different kind of vegetables and how we achieve it just very very simple so all these vegetables I'll start to cut them up I've already cut a little bit of some of the stuff so you need some chopped tomatoes you need some diced onions so dicing onions is very simple cut thick and then dice away very simple these cherry tomatoes I'll cut them in half and add them in the end to give that color and the nice uh, sweetness of them Radhatui is a vegetable, if you are making it in a 5 star restaurant or in a Michelin restaurant Ideally you need to cook each of the vegetables separately Because uh, you don't want the vegetables, the flavors to mix in to the end But because we are doing it in a home, we will do it all together But the vegetables will be added in a sequence of their hardness or how much time they take to cook So we will start with the eggplant and then the last thing we will put is the zucchini or the squash which is the most delicate so just cut these cherry tomatoes in half, slit them in half. We have some nice peppers, tricolors, red, yellow and green. Uh, very nice. You have some, these are called yellow squash. This is a yellow squash and this is a zucchini. These are very nice. But you'll be very surprised. Uh, I have some guys who are working with me from Mauritius. In Mauritius, their cuisine, uh, what happened is most of the people from uh, India traveled to Mauritius and made up Mauritius. So, their main cuisine, they eat curry, but they put herbs in their curry, they put thyme in their curry. You know, and their curries are even spicier than us. And that's a fusion cuisine because the uh, Mauritians are French, half French, half Indian. So they have curries with thyme and they are amazing. So, you know, you can never go wrong with experimenting. So this is some of the vegetables. Now I'm going to use this squash, beautiful squash. And then you cut it in half, so it's manageable. You just take the sides, no need for the seeds. So you just cut in three and then see you have the seeds in the center which you can save later if you want to make a vegetable soup like a, a gazpacho or anything like that. So see you just cut all of them first and then you start to dice them. This dish is from France as I said, Provence. And the French take a lot of pride in this dish. So I have to make it as uh, close to the original as possible because I know a lot of my French counterpart chefs are watching this now. Yes. 
said all the zucchini squash is done. That's the main stuff. Now we're gonna start cooking. salt before and heat so that the water is out or you can just do it like this. This is a very rusty dish so everything is going to come together and create the eggplant. Best friend is what, uh, some thyme. So I am going to use some thyme. See the thyme? You just take out these leaves. Thyme is my favorite herb. I can put that. I love it, it's very versatile, you can use it with meat, fish, chicken, anything. It is not very overpowering, mine, but has a very very nice taste, flavor and taste to it. No? The smell is amazing. As the eggplants are cooking, let's put the chopped tomatoes. We want the tomatoes to be cooked till the end, so that the sauce is there. The sauce will come from the tomatoes. See the colors already, beautiful colors. And then, next will be the peppers. So, I cut the peppers. The best way to cut a pepper is this. Cut it like that, that, and that. So you get everything. You can use everything, and only wastage is this. So that's the most economical and the most uh, you can get the maximum out of a pepper like that. time is taken by the eggplant so we start with that also onions we start with that and these uh, zucchini and all takes very less actually you can eat them raw you know so just when the ratatouille is almost done in the end you put the zucchini bind everything up and take it up this is some uh, very nicely made pesto by uh, Namrata we are going to use this pesto but this pesto with one thing is made from basil and oil basil is a herb which gets black when it's heated so we're gonna keep it and wait till the end. See this sound, this smell, which you're getting. Really cooking is therapeutic, as I said. No? <laughs> wow. Then you add this, add the zucchini yellow spot. This is a lot, so I'm not gonna add all, just a little bit. Now we just uh, cook it for five to ten minutes till all the flavors. So what now happening is here is all these different vegetables are combining together, there is a lot of chemical reaction happening which is get all the flavors together, make it all one unified flavor when you put it in your mouth you can get that and the tomato is going to cook and make the base of it with the sauce if you want you can add some uh, uh, canned tomatoes or tomato paste but I don't like tomato paste at all, it's uh, uh, something which I don't like if you make homemade tomato paste it's fine, otherwise just keep it like that you, know? you don't need to have a sauce in everything, just lightly sauce So take some Kikuman soy sauce, something like this. Kikuman soy sauce is uh, not too salty and uh, there are actually three kinds of soy sauce. One is a sweet thick soya, one is a Kikuman and one is a uh, light superior which is very very salty and more thin. 
So use this one, Pico one, just marinate it for 20 minutes so that the tofu absorbs the soya and they get a little bit of taste of its own. And then you can add the pieces of tofu inside, toss everything together and that's it, you're done. This is very nice sea salt, organic sea salt. All the organic stuff which we are using are from uh, uh, Jyoti. Our website is on a healthynote.com. You can go there and find all most of the organic stuff which we are using. Just a touch so that this uh, the steam starts and the vegetables start to get cooked. Just see how much I'm using. Just a touch. I hate using water in the food. It's better to use a vegetable stock because water doesn't add anything. Always be whatever we put in the pan should have some kind of flavoring. What are the chefs now doing is they don't use salt anymore. They use fish salt instead because that brings the flavor of its own. So we should never use water in any of the food we have. Rather we use put a vegetable stock or any kind of stock which has some flavor to it. So almost we are there. Now we add these cherry tomatoes which will uh, give the nice color and the texture and then it's the turn of all the herbs so we're going to use some parsley and some basil for it first this is namrata's beautiful pesto she has made so we put a little generous portion of pesto this is italian parsley there are two types of parsley in the market one is the curly parsley and one is the italian parsley Curly parsley looks good but does nothing on the taste. Italian parsley is all the flavor. So always use Italian parsley. All the beautiful flavors and Italian parsley. Basil is also one of the very nice herbs. Very nice flavor. Clean flavors, clean taste. You saw nothing, I used just salt, pepper, olive oil, no other spice, nothing. If you don't have pesto, just use a lot of basil. If you don't have basil, use a lot of parsley. And that's it. And just to give it an added touch, what I'm going to do is put some uh, parmesan cheese. This is parmigiano reggiano. A little bit of more flavor and the uh, parmesan because it will start to melt it will hold everything together parmesan is a very nutritive cheese less fat little bit salty after taste but very very good cheese okay this is gonna look you can serve it in the center of the table in the pan itself as it is cooked you know or uh, you can serve it in a bowl but it i think like this it's perfect so that's it that is ratatouille as we made it, please try at your home and uh, let us know how you feel about that.